This is Ian. Today I'm going to show you how to send in two boxes of the same ASIN to an Amazon Fulfillment Center for Amazon FBA. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it, follow me, let's get started. I'm on the FBA dashboard. Usually when I send in new inventory, I always do it from the restock inventory page because I get data there that I don't see elsewhere. And in this particular place, I can see, for instance, that um, they're offering me a fee discount if I send in a certain number of units. So I'm going to take advantage of that offer. This this particular item is also running very low, only 18 days of supply left, so I need to get stuff in quick. So I'm going to click the Send Replenish Inventory button. I've already packed up all the boxes, and I have all the measurements all set. You will need that information. Select Individual Units in this case, because this is not a case pack template. And I'm just going to say the number of units. I won't say the number of boxes yet. I just say the number of units first, so it's 172 total, and then ready to pack. Let's get rid of that. All right, uh, pack individual units. And by the way, you can also do this for your supplier if you're setting it up for them. But in this case, I actually have these items uh, in my office, so I'm gonna be doing it from here. Now, um, this is the important thing. Packing information, everything in one box or multiple boxes. So we're gonna do multiple boxes and then confirm. And then I'm gonna do enter through a web form. The other option is upload an Excel file. And this is only two boxes, so I don't need to do that. Um, how many boxes? Exact number not needed. I think that's pretty interesting, but okay. Open web form. All right. So this is where you enter the number of units. And the first box is 86. The box weight is 25. And then the box dimensions, they're the same for each one. So it is going to be, let's see here, 14 by 10 by 10. And this is in inches. Um, and then the other one, it's the same. The box weight is a little bit different, um, it's, but it's just a couple of ounces, and I think that's because of the dunnage. So I'm just going to put 25 down and then select that, and then you can click Confirm Packing Information. If you don't see the Confirm Packing Information button highlighted, it's because you haven't checked off these two checkboxes. Now, uh, this always happens, and if you're the owner of the Amazon account, you can just dismiss warnings and confirm. If your supplier is logging in, I found out that oftentimes they can't dismiss the warnings. I don't know why that is, even if they have permission to do so. So uh, if you encounter this, if your supplier encounters this situation, you may need to do it for, for your supplier and then just send them the labels. So I'm just gonna dismiss the warning and confirm and then confirm and continue. All right, so uh, this is something I've seen lately, and I think it's possibly because it's the holiday season and they wanna get stuff to the transshipment center quickly. Select the date, so this is going to be going today. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to use this option. Um, if I didn't wanna do that, if I just wanted to send it to one transshipment center, I'd use, I just press this button. The reason for not doing this is actually, if you select the recommended shipping option, not only will it, it be fulfilled, more quickly. I mean, it'll be ready for fulfillment more quickly. You'll get a, an eight an eight dollar and sixty cent fulfillment fee rebate. So I like that. Uh, small parcel delivery. So UPS is a selected carrier, and then it's just basically giving me the information um, about where it's going from, and you know if I'm ready to pay. So one thing I, I do all all the time before I ship something out is I change the name of the shipment. Actually, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I won't be able to change the name of the shipment until the next step. So I'm going to accept charges and confirm shipping. Okay. So at this point, then I can rename it. So I always, what I always do is I always use the number of the units in the box and then the nickname that we have for it. and then the today's date, all right? Oh, and then another thing I have to do is because it's going from a certain, it's going to a certain a fulfillment center, I, I add the name of that. So it's TEB9, and then I hit click save. So then this this will be ready to print. I'm gonna do the same thing for this one and then print it. 
put the labels on the boxes, and it's ready to go. If this video helped, please take a moment to like and follow me. Also, if you go to leanmedia.org, it's my official site. There's a link in the description. Click on blog or video, and you'll see lots more posts about running an Amazon business, shipping stuff into Amazon FBA, etc. Thanks so much for watching.